Bishop Elijah Hangerson, and we are yet lifting up Lady Rachel Hangerson in prayer, yes. and Brother Fred McCullen in prayer for divine miraculous healing. And please be, remember that we're going to have a time of prayer requests, so prepare your prayer requests for our service. But meanwhile, we start off with praise and worship. It's praise and worship time. Tag a friend, tell a sister, a brother, and let them know that it's time for us to praise the Lord. You are in for a treat. We have a special treat by our Father today. God bless you. Let's praise the Lord together. Welcome.
Appreciate you as our leader. We wish happy Father's Day to you, Pastor Person. Pastor Person, how are you feeling today, Pastor? I'm Person? feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. Thank the You're Lord for each and every Pastor. one of y'all. Amen. Thank you and happy Father's Day to all of those out there in the uh, media. Amen. Praise the Lord for you. Amen. As we lift up the name of Jesus Christ, for God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Pastor, thank you so much, Pastor. Amen. Pastor greeted the fathers earlier. Amen. Out there wishing you a happy what? Yes. Amen. Father's Day. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for Jesus. Pastor, you said, you said something else to say. No, I'm, 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 amen. 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 Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. amen. <laughs> Praise amen. Pastor. Speaks this. Amen. Me and baby girl, uh, we woke up and we worked together. Yeah, amen. Yeah. As mommy and daughter, and we prepared dad, papa, husband, a delicious breakfast. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And he act like he enjoyed our breakfast. Oh, Did you enjoy I enjoyed it. Yes, breakfast? indeed. I enjoyed it. <laughs> amen. If I don't preach hard, y'all know why now. <laughs> but yes. praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. And so we don't want him to do nothing today because normally Pastor would get up and cook breakfast. Amen. Amen for his family. He loves to do it. Amen. I didn't Amen. tell him to do it. He did it all of his own. I give God praise for that. I ain't going to stop that. Amen. You hear me, ladies? Amen. Appreciate what God has given you. Let your men help you. We thank God yes, for our fathers. Yes. Amen. Our natural fathers, our spiritual fathers. Amen. Praise the Lord. We welcome you. Amen. Praise you, the Lord. And we're going to be celebrating our pastor and my husband all day. He's not going to have to do nothing today. Only, you know, what he would want to do. Amen. Amen. So we start out with breakfast, and then we're going to have a do a nice lunch meal and hope here for him. And then we're going to take him out to dinner. Amen. I want y'all to, to flourish your fathers. Amen. With gifts and love and appreciation. Yes, yes. Amen. Because we need our men. We need our good men especially. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let's show our fathers. Yes. Amen. That we appreciate them as well like our mothers. In the name amen. of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We thank God. And yes, missionary Mamie Young, welcome. 
Happy Father's Day. She said to you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Thank you, missionary. Amen. Praise the Lord. A missionary young and mother person have birthdays on this weekend. And we will be celebrating all our June birthdays mm. later on during this month. Amen. Praise God. But we just want to give a shout out to you, mother um, person and missionary Mamie Young, that me and Pastor love you all so much. Yes. Amen. And we thank God for the life that he has given to the both of you. Amen. Amen. At this time, praise the Lord. We have a treat for you. You hear me? We have a woman of God. How old is your mother now, Pastor? 83. 83. Look at me. Oh, my goodness. Mother Agnes Person. We're going to get her on the screen here with me and Pastor. Amen. Praise, Amen. The, Lord, mother. praise the Lord, Mother Person. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Mother Person. How are you doing this morning? Bless. You are blessed. And Mother Person is 83 years old and Amen. looking good and looking Amen. fine. And we were led to get her on for our morning worship on today to honor yeah. our pastors. And yeah. I believe God has given Mother a special prayer to pray Amen. for our fathers, spiritual fathers, and our natural fathers. Yes. And yes. to pray however God leads her on this morning. Yes. So with further to do, we're going to turn it over to you, Mother Person, as you lead us unto the throne of grace. We are in your hands, Mother Person. Amen. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for showing us the Father's Day today, Lord Jesus. We thank you for all you do for us, Lord Jesus. Yes. Bless Pastor and First Lady this morning, Lord Jesus. Touch yes. them in a special way, Lord Jesus. And bless Father, bless Pastor as a Father Day, Lord Jesus. Bless him, bless his Father Day today, Lord Jesus. Touch yes. his mind, touch his body, Lord Jesus. Yes. And touch all the rest of the fathers out there, Lord Jesus. You mm. touch them in a special way, Lord Jesus. Have oh, your way in life right now, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, yes, Lord, Lord, you know all about it. You know what they stand in need of right now, mm. Lord. Yes. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Pray, Mother Lord, Lord, go into the White House. Touch the Father in there, Lord Jesus. Go into the hospital, Lord Jesus. Touch the yes, Father. Lord. Somebody got a Father in the hospital this morning, Lord Jesus. Touch mm. that man, Lord Jesus. Just mm. that father in there, Lord Jesus. Yes. Lord, you do this, you do the touching, Lord Jesus. You do the healing, Lord Jesus. Touch him in a special way, Lord Jesus. Have your way in that hospital this morning, Lord Jesus. With mm. those father, Lord Jesus. Have your mm. way, Lord Jesus. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Go into the nursing home, Lord Jesus. Just those father in there too, Lord Jesus. Mm. Touch the way, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Lord Jesus, in that place, Lord Jesus. Mm. Lord, you know all about it. You know what we stand in need of, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we not Lord Jesus. Lord, you know all about it, Lord Jesus. Go into the uh, the prison bar right now, Lord Jesus. Lord, somebody got somebody, a father in the prison bar right now, Lord Jesus. Mm. Go in there, Lord Jesus. Do the, turn them around in there, Lord Jesus. Turn mm. the fathers around, Lord Jesus. Mm. Turn them around in there, Lord Jesus. Touch them in a special way, Lord Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. I said, hallelujah to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father over all of us, Lord Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah to you, Jesus. Your name is worthy to be praised. And I thank you. Your name, Jesus. Your name, Jesus. Your name is worthy, Jesus. You have your way. Mm. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the day, Lord Jesus. Mm. I Father, last night rest, Lord Jesus, and rising up on in that right mind this morning, Lord Jesus. Lord, mm. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your name is worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your name, Jesus. Your name, Jesus. Your name is worthy. Your name, Jesus. Your name. Your name is worthy. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Because you were the all the praise and all the glory. In your name, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank Jesus. you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 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 thank you,
Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. God. Mother's still you. praising God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mother Person, for Hallelujah. that fervent prayer. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, for yeah. our Father's Day service. And yeah, on yeah. Today. We thank God for thank you, God for Mother. Mother Person. Amen. Amen. We you. just get so happy, happy. to yeah. be in the service just, on today. Oh, now we're going to have our scripture reading coming from Colossians, the first chapter, verses 20 to 29. Amen. Praise the Lord. And having made peace through the blood of his cause, by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, and you that were sometime alienated and enemies, glory be to God, in your mind by wicked works, yet now have he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unprovable in his sight. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ, and my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church, whereof I am made a minister, according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you, you. to Amen. fulfill the word of God, even thy mystery, which has been hid from grace, from mm. ages, and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Yes, Lord. To whom God would make known that is in the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, mm. which is in Christ in you, mm. the hope of glory. Yes. Lord. Whom we preach warning every man yes. and teaching every man and all wisdom that ye may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, yes, Lord. which worketh in me mightily. Mm. I've again read Colossians, the first chapter, verses 20 to 29. God bless all of you in Jesus' name. We have a special tribute song we're going to play here. It says, come and go with me in my father's house. In my father's house. We celebrating Jesus even today. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Because Jesus, he's our spiritual father, too. We're not just celebrating our natural fathers, but we're celebrating Jesus, too. Come and go with me. Let's see what Alicia Williamson has to say about that into my father's house. <laughs> Yes. Prepare your prayer request at this time. Please feel free to post your prayer request and I will comment section. Praise the Lord. Glory. Be praying over your prayer request. Just post them in the comments. Praise them, Mother. You're in your father's house now. We're in the studio. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. There is joy. There's joy. 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 In the Father's house. God is a father to the fatherless. In our Father's house. Glory. In our Father's house. In our Father's house. There is what? There is joy. 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 Yes. We're going to turn it down a little bit. Our spiritual father, Pastor Rusty Person, is coming at this time. Praise the Lord. So make our offering appeal. Amen. Amen. We praise and worship God in the beauty of wholeness. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves for a time of giving. You can't beat God's giving no matter how you try. The more you give, you'll give back. You press down. Shaking together, running over with men, give unto your bosom today. Oh God, I'm just praying today that you, that you would be a sword today. today. That you, that you will sow into, into the, the ministry today, God, that you'll be a blessing and giving today in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm praying that, I'm you, praying that you will sow today. today. I want you I want to sow today. today. Amen. Amen. Our ways of giving is on the screen today. today. You can cash out. You can go by Giveify.
and look up Restoration Temple, Bowie, Maryland, Maryland, or you, you can, can go, go to, to our PayPal account. Pay Amen. I thank God for using our PayPal account. Our people are giving on our PayPal account. I praise God for that opportunity to share you. Amen. And we thank you for your giving and your support. And uh, if you go to our PayPal, you go to our website, rtcogent.org. Amen. And click on the PayPal link and be able to be a blessing. And given, and given to our ministry. To our ministry. Amen. 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 Come on and sow the day. Amen. Amen. You know to sow your tithes and, and your offering. But I ask but you to sow a special offering today. today. Amen. For our 21 to God. Oh, my God. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? God, 2152. For twenty one, give twenty one dollars for fifty two Sundays. Oh, I believe God is going to do some miraculous things. He's going to bless you, and I want to put your name on my plaque. Amen. My twenty one fifty two partners. Amen. Come on and show the day in the name of Jesus Christ. And I praise you and I thank you for sowing. Amen. As you sow, as you sow right now, as you sow right now. Come on, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for those people who have given today, God. Thank you for the sowers right now. Thank you, for God, for those who had not to give, but had a heart they want to give, God. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you'll bless them the next time that they'll be able to give, to be able to support, and to be able to be part of this giving process. In the name of Jesus Christ. For well, I believe that you'll pour out the windows of heaven and pour them out a blessing, God, that they have a room to receive it all. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that you bless them. Not just tenfold, not just twentyfold. We give them a hundredfold blessing. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 Sing it for me, Wes. Yes. So much, so much. I feel like I'm feeling 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 like and I'll teach you what to put a special offering offering day for past the day. Celebrate him not as he says, just as our leader, but as our spiritual father. We thank God for him and his labor. Even during this pandemic, our pastor has been feeding us spiritually, and some of us naturally. Amen. He's been yet giving uh, good and sharing with you uh, the resources that you need to be a blessing to your home. Not just the spiritual literature, but also the different sanitation that needs to help you during this pandemic. We thank God for your passion. And we want you to go and be a blessing to somebody else on today. Thank you for all you that have given to us. Hallelujah to Jesus. Lord, touch your heart. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. We thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is our Father's Day, and we have another treat in store for you. God has been doing something special in the person's household. And yes, I'm going to praise my pond because she is in my pond. Amen. Praise the Lord. She is a beautiful 12-year-old girl. Amen. Glory be to God who is saved and that she loves the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And God has anointed her. Yeah. My daughter, yes, my pastor's yes. daughter. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord to be blessed with so many gifts. And you all know her. Some of you all know her. And her name is Hope. And for some of you all don't know our baby girl. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, um, God has blessed her not to just be saved, but she loves God. And she's a prayer warrior. And she is very talented in music. She plays the clarinet. And she got that to a certain degree. Then she said, Mommy, I want to um, learn how to play the piano. Amen, Gordy. So what we going to do? We her parents. And so she's been starting her lessons. Amen. And the Lord's been blessing her. She's and beginning this. So you are a witness of hope. Um, progression, amen. And God is 
been blessing hope. Amen. So she wants to do a special tribute today, and we said to her to do it to our fathers on today. And she's going to come before you doing a musical Father's Day tribute for you all on today. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we're going to turn it over to you, Hope. Amen. And just let the Lord use you. Amen. so she could have space to be able to minister to us. And that was a special Father's Day tribute. Yes, Missionary Mamie says, wow, hope, wonderful yeah. job. Amen. And you indeed did a wonderful job. Yes, yes. Amen. So y'all stay tuned. God is doing some great things with Hope. Great and marvelous Amen. With the young, all the young people at Amen. Restoration Temple, you all stay tuned. Amen. We just thank God for each and every one of you that have just joined in with us. Welcome to our R.T. Kojic Father's Day uh, worship on service on today. Yeah. And we just give it honoring to our fathers on today. We thank God for them. Amen. At this time, we're preparing ourselves to receive the word. And yes, amen from our very own pastor, the spiritual father of Restoration Temple, Church of God in Christ. This man of God is somebody special. I'm just taking the time out today. Amen. Because pastor person, is a very loving and caring man spiritually and naturally amen and he is a king to me and he is a man of god who loves god's people he is a father who loves his daughter hope denise person amen praise god and he appreciates amen the ministry that God has also given to me as his wife. He is not jealous. He supports me 100% past the person. And listen, it's not just me talking. Everybody tell you, past the person supports me in women ministry. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. I don't have to worry about what hubby going to say or what. No, he supports me. I thank God for him and all his accomplishments and the word that God has been giving him on today. So I introduce to some and present to others. And oh, before I do that, that was his mother. For some of you that didn't know that prayed earlier, that was his mother that prayed earlier, Mother Agnes person on today. So you know he is loved, not just by me and my daughter, but he is loved by his family, not just on his side of the family, but he's loved on my side of the family too. Mother Young, she can't get enough of Pastor Person. She love him. She treat him like her own son. And you better not say nothing against Pastor Person or Mother Young will step up to the plate and begin to pray on you. 
and mother person. They go to mess with Pastor Person. He got dual twins on his right and left, but mother young and mother person standing by his side. Amen. Me and hope right there with them. So we thank God for you, Pastor. We just want to appreciate you. We just want to appreciate. We love you. Amen. Praise God. And so we are praying for you, Pastor, that the Lord will anoint you with fresh oil as you prepare to deliver the word of God to his people. And guess what? RT Cody, the RT Jewels, we love you too. Amen. I can hear Amen. them chiming in the background saying, Pastor, we love you. Yes. Your hands, Amen. We praise and worship God in the beauty of holiness. Thank God for an opportunity to come and to share his great and marvelous word with us today in the name of Jesus Christ, where we glorify God, for God is worthy to be praised. I don't know about you today. Amen. This week, this uh, last week, I got my book in the mail. I don't know if you ordered one, The Whole Truth, amen. Our former presiding bishop is on The Whole Truth. And I hope that you would support, amen, the church of God in Christ and get your copy of The Whole Truth. This is a beautiful souvenir journal that you will be able to keep for the life, amen, telling the life and the story of our former presiding bishop. You get your copy today, amen, amen. Go to the cogent, amen website and get it from the publishing house get your copy the whole truth amen they didn't ask me to sell the whole truth they didn't ask me to advertise it i just wanted to share with you that i received my copy and it's a beautiful copy of the life of our presiding bishop his family and we pray god our former presiding bishop and we pray that god will continue to bless our leader amen amen our leader amen bishop drew sheard but also to continue to strengthen our former presiding bishop. Amen. His legacy. Amen. Will live on in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Amen. This morning, I just want to just to chime in. My soul does love Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soul loves Jesus. And so this morning, I want to talk about a word called reconciliation reconciliation so how can you love god without reconciling with god and so so i began to get in this thing and began to understand this thing better by and by about reconciliation and so i i when when two people are at odds different are the solution Fellowship and friendship are either restored or established for the first time. There have been time in our life when you needed to be reconciled to someone. Perhaps reconcile was needed for with you and your parent, after all, blew over. For example, one might say my dad has every reason to be angry with me. When I told someone else I was changing churches and I didn't tell him, but he confronted me and eventually there were reconciliation taking place. Sometimes reconciliation has been needed between you and your friend or your brother or your sister. Sometimes reconciliation is needed because we're hurting someone we don't even know, even as though through a traffic of incidents, of accidents that we don't understand. Our greatest need of reconciliation has been with God. We are sinners. We have offended the holy and almighty God. We do not deserve any of God's blessing. We do not deserve forgiveness. We do not deserve a home in heaven. That's the bad news of it. The good news is, of course, that God, a long ago, uh, took the matter of reconciliation into his own hands. And have provided that reconciliation to all who will do what? Trust him and his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins that we may have right to the tree of life. So when 
so we want to consider reconciliation as described by the apostle paul in colossians chapter 1 verses 20 through 29 and we want to study this passage to show our self approved under god a workman need not be ashamed but rightly divide the word of truth and so 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 at verse 20 and i'm I, I'm, I'm going to look at verse 20 and having made peace through the blood of the cross by him reconciling all things unto himself by him i say wherefore they be things in the earth or things in heaven and and, and, and I'm, I'm excited about this text this morning because this text takes us to a point of understanding reconciliation amen and so first i want to talk about the meaning of reconciliation according to our text today here we see how god provided a way of peace between himself righteousness god and the sinful man ah there is certain need of peace according to ephesians chapter 2 verses 2 and 3 and god provided peace through what the blood of our lord and savior jesus christ for he died on the cross that we may have right to the tree of life he reconciled us mm. someone had to pay for our sins ah uh, for in order for god to forgive us and to be able to take us back home with him uh first First Peter gives us an understanding that that he had to for, he had to he had to give up something yes. in order to bring us back home. Mm -hmm. Call me, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I felt I felt that he had to what give up something, mother, in order to bring us back home. Not only did Jesus reconcile sinners to Himself, but it tells us that Jesus had reconciled all things in heaven and in earth and when christ return and reign there will be a complete submission to him there will be total peace with god in the natural world and in the world of men oh my god isn't god good that he's able to give us peace that passes all understanding that we will know him for ourselves. And he and he looked forward also to the day when there will be a new heaven and a new earth. Revelation 21, verse number one says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And for the first heaven and the and the first earth will pass away, and there were no more seas. Yeah. Uh, I believe that this is the time when Romans 8 and 21 says, will be fulfilled because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption and into the glorious liberation of Jesus Christ. Philippians 2, hallelujah, verses 9 and 10 that in that day jesus that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is lord hallelujah of the things of the heaven and the things of the earth and the things on earth and every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is lord hallelujah hallelujah every knee will bow every knee will confess however other those who know Jesus shall have peace. Revelation 12 and 15 says, And whatsoever have not bound, found written in the book of life have been cast into the what? The lake of fire. The meaning of reconciliation of God to man, the meaning of reconciliation of everything in the heavens and the earth is through the blood of Jesus Christ. It was his blood 
that reconciled us. Yeah. It was his red blood. It was his red blood. It was his blood, crimson tide blood. It was his red blood that reconciled us. And so we see the meaning of reconciliation. But let's look at the miracles of reconciliation. And so we see in miracles, talking to believers, uh, uh, Paul now shows us what uh, great believers, uh, great miracles of reconciling is for the one who has come to Jesus. Have you come to Jesus? If you have not come to Jesus, you can't see the miracle. But if you come to him, you'll see him. A miracle happening to you. Uh, verse number 12, te- verse number 21 says, saying that we were alienated from God. The word means in strange, or we would uh, say separation from God. Our sin separated us from God. That's right, mother. Our sin separated us from God. Hallelujah. And we were enemies, enemies of God. God could not look on us because we were what? Sinners. And we needed, amen, to be reconciled with him. We needed to be changed. And even though we might have thought that we love God, Before we accepted God for forgiveness, we were in reality God's froze. Amen. We were enemies of God. We were hostily uh, towards God. We were hostile towards God. We were enemies towards God. Hallelujah. Our hostile led us to what? Wicked works. And so we need to, to, to stop doing wicked works. And that's why he made us this profitability to see the miracle of reconciliation today. Amen. To see what the Lord can do and will do for you. And so you must understand. But now he has reconciled us or what? Change us. Ah, he has changed our zip code. He has changed our area code. He has changed our phone number. He has changed our life. And that's what God wants to do. He wants to reconcile us to that he can change us. That we're no longer doing the things that we used to do. But we're doing something different to glorify him. Oh my God. And finally reconciliation takes place when Jesus reigns supremely in your life. How do you know that, Pastor? How do you know that, Pastor? Currently, reconciliation was brought us peace with God now. But in verse 22, it says, the work of Christ accomplished three things that are mentioned here. That he has made us, what? Holy. It is the same word that we get saints from, that you might say, hallelujah, uh, he has made us a saint. The word means that he has what? Set apart us through Christ's death, that we he has set those who believe in him apart to God. Hmm. What you saying, Pastor? What you saying, Pastor? What you saying? I'm glad you asked that question because the miracle of reconciliation is they see how our blood, the blood of Jesus Christ can bring you to God. Glory be to God. And when his blood comes and brings you to God, is his blood, is his blood, is his blood, is the, is the blood, is the blood, is the blood, is the blood, is the blood that reconciles us. It's, that's the miracle. What can wash away our sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Well, there's nothing that the accusers of the brothers 
Satan can accuse us with that and we'll and we'll stick to it. But the blood redeems us. The blood brings us back. The blood brings us home. The blood mm, reconciles us. <laughs> and verse 23, verse 23 of that text, it says, there and if in this verse, which of course is connected with the verse we just looked at, this if does not mean that you will lose your salvation. It means that if you truly, if you truly save you, you will toot and ground it in the gospel of Jesus Christ. If it truly delivers you, if it truly brings you out of darkness into a marvelous life, you will truly walk with him. You will truly talk with him. You will truly be reconciled with him. Someone said if the if Jesus if the Bible teaches the final preservation of the saints it also teaches that the saints are those who are finally preserved in Christ Jesus continues and is tested for reality tested to understand tested to see that they can you can make it under pressure oh i know i can make it under pressure if i trust god if i depend on him I heard evangelists. I heard evangelists say that this morning. I mean, I mean, I, I I wrote that down just for 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 my knowledge of self. She said, she said, you gotta have faith, and you gotta keep the faith. Come on, somebody. Did you did you hear me? I wish y'all would type that in the chat. You gotta have faith, and you gotta keep the faith. If you want to be reconciled with God, if you want to see the miracles of God, if you want to see the miracles that God has sustained you, amen, amen, amen. Miracles only happen when you have faith in God and you keep the faith. Come on, somebody. Oh, my, 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 my. And we were talking about, we were just talking about, they were just in, in our Sunday school lesson, we were talking about the miracles and the healing and the deliverance that God did. He did it because we were reconciled with him. Glory be to God. And when you get reconciled with God, God will demonstrate some miracles in your life. Signs and wonders. Ah, uh, somebody looking for a miracle today. Somebody's looking for a miracle. Somebody's looking for a miracle today. Y'all ought to type miracle in the comment. You ought to type miracle, 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 miracle. And, and, and let me let me testify. Let me testify. Miracles can come in many ways, in many styles. It can be a healing. It can be a deliverance. It can be a financial miracle. It can, it, it can be anything that God wants to give to you. And there's a miracle coming your way. All you got to do is trust him. Oh, you ought to type in the comment, I'm waiting for my miracle. Hmm. I'm Glory. waiting for my miracle. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, because I have been reconciled with him. Mm -hmm. And I'm waiting for my miracle. Hallelujah, I'm Jesus. waiting for my miracle. I'm waiting for my miracle. And certainly, certainly we see, after we see the meaning of reconciliation and the miracles of reconciliation, can we talk about the ministry of reconciliation? Verse 24, when people preach or share Christ, he is involved in ministering reconciliation. The preaching of the word of reconciliation causes people to believe on Jesus Christ and be reconciled with God. Oh, what a great ministry. When you tell somebody about the love of Jesus Christ, and they accept Christ, how they have been reconciled to God. Hallelujah. Paul in verse 25 and through 29 gives us some characteristics of his ministry of reconciliation that I feel will be true to us as we share Christ or witness of him today. 
Have you told somebody else about the love of Jesus Christ? Have you ministered to somebody so they can be reconciled back to God? For we are sinners, need to be saved by grace. And he says in, in verse 24, he says, rejoice in your suffering. How Paul offers suffering to these Colossians. Paul was Paul saw was the apostle for the Gentiles. That is, and uh, to the non-Jewish. Ah, mama, as much he suffered all sorts of hardship and all sorts of pain. You, you, you know, Paul, you know, Paul, you know, Paul, you know, Paul was on the road down to, 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 to destroy the Christians. And, and he met Jesus. What a miracle. What a miracle. And he met Jesus on his way down to, to the masters to, to destroy the Christians. And when he met Jesus, when he met Jesus, when he met the man called Galilee, when he met the man that died for our sin, when he met the man that, that can do anything but fail, when he met Jesus, when he met Jesus, the, the man that turned water into wine, the, the man that healed the sick, uh, the man, oh man, that, that gave, that, that, that killed, healed a woman that was, uh, had leprosy, uh, uh, the man that, uh, healed a woman that had the issues of blood for 12 long years. Oh, when he met Jesus, when he, when he gave the man that had blinded eyes that he could see him. And he said, I see giants. And and then Jesus had to touch him again. And he, I see men. Oh, what a ministry. You, 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 you remember Paul. You remember Paul. Glory. Paul was the man that, 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 that was telling dying men. Ah, uh, the, the blind, the Paul was the man that was led to a place to pray. Ah, uh, his name wasn't Paul at first. He, they called him Saul. And he was led to a place to pray. And, and he told Ananias, Ananias, go see about the man called Saul. And, and, and this man is going to be the, the gentile that shall lead my Gentile people, that shall declare a word to, that shall minister reconciliation to the people. I don't know about you, but sometimes we need our soul to be reconciled with our body. Oh, my, 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 no, 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 no. We need our soul because our soul has lost reality of understanding what God is trying to tell us that we need to be reconciled with him. Oh my my, 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 I I heard that song this morning that whole play my soul yeah. loves Jesus. And the only way your soul can love Jesus is got to be reconciled <laughs> through the blood of Jesus. And if the blood of Jesus reconciles your soul, then you have a relationship with God. And if God is reconciled in you, well, then God has a relationship with you. And so we need to be what? Reconciled. Well, 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 y'all know about Saul and y'all know about his name was changed to Paul. But you remember the story about Esau and Jacob and how Esau, uh, Esau lost his birthright to Jacob because he sold it for a piece of meal. And Jacob made sure he claimed that birthright because Esau gave it over to him. And Esau was a, a man that was mad. He, he was upset and Jacob had to go on a run, had to go on a hiding. But yet God continued to bless uh, Jacob and his family. And yet all of a sudden, Jacob said, I'm going to meet my brother. That's right. They were brothers. And they had to be what? Reconciled. And when Jacob met Esau and Esau met Jacob, they became one. They became uh, the love one because the, 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 the love of God had already talked to them. The, the love of God had already dealt with them because they wanted. he wanted them to be what? Reconciled. And so our ministry of reconciliation should take place. Verse 27 of that text says, and the mystery is simple. 
Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Jewish Messiah, uh, would indwell a church that is made up of people, most likely Colossians, Gentiles, Jewish people, all whosoever will, let them come. For the ministry of reconciliation is for everyone. You can come to know Jesus as your personal savior right now. You can be reconciled with him. And, and, and our hope of glory is that we have received Jesus Christ as our savior. The moment we believe in him, we reconcile to God. Our hope of glory is that Christ indwells in us. And because Christ indwells in us, we are what? New creatures. Oh, we have a new, amen, and we have a changed life. No longer doing the same thing. That's right, mother, no longer doing the same thing. My life has been redeemed. My life has been changed. I have been bought with a price because now that I know Jesus for myself, you ought to type in the chat. You ought to type in the chat, I've been redeemed. I don't know if you've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. If you've been redeemed, you ought to type in the chat. Let the world know that you have been redeemed. You have been reconciled with Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, you have been reconciled to God through Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, that we may have right to the tree of life. And so we must go out and tell dying men, women, boys, and girls that the ways of sin is still death, but to get to God's eternal life. Have you told somebody the truth? For they may be what? Reconciled. And they may understand the labor in power. No ministry, not even Paul, was affected in his own power. But it was only affected in the power of the Holy Spirit. It is all dependent on the gracious work of our Holy Spirit that does the work in us. Because once mm, Paul, once Saul's name was changed to Paul and Paul received his sight, it was no longer I, but it was the Christ that lives in me. I don't know about you today, but I want Christ to do the finished work in my life and pray for yourself that you will be able to share the Christ Jesus with those who need to hear the gospel. This is not only the pastor's job, but it's every job, every one of our jobs to share the meaning of reconciliation, the miracles of reconciliation and the ministry of reconciliation. So we can see the outcome of being rejoicing in our suffering or revealing the mystery in preaching the truth and showing the labor of power. May God bless you and may his ever faith shine upon you. Hallelujah. Come on, evangelist person. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, we Amen. thank God for Jesus for that anointed and Amen. powerful word by our pastor on today. Amen. I tell you the truth. I don't know where I would be without the Lord. But he is our father. Yes, Lord. And pastor brought out so plainly to us on today that we as a people, that God is calling us to be reconciled. And he put out three different points, the means of reconciliation, the miracle of reconciliation, and the ministry of reconciliation. The means, the miracle, the ministry. Amen, praise God. And we get to understand that Jesus Christ has called us to be reconciled back unto him. And he has given us that pathway through salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I encourage you that if you had not received the Lord Jesus and the pardon of your sins, that you would make the decision to come to Christ on today. I can't make the choice for you, but you have to make it for yourself. And this is our appeal unto you. 
And if you're that one that desires to have a, a relationship with God, you desire to be reconciled back into God, that is through, first of all, you got to do it through salvation. Amen. And he will give you the heart. Amen. To forgive as you forgive others and as he has forgiven you. Forgive us of our debts as we have forgiven those who have trespassed against us. So if you are that one out there that you desire to have a new relationship with Christ, he is your father. And you could cry out to him today with me and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. I believe that you died on the cross. And right now, Lord Jesus, I open up the door of my heart, my heavenly father, and I receive you into my heart, my heavenly father, as my Lord and personal savior. We praise and appreciate that prayer that you repeated with us. For you're on the plan of salvation. We welcome you in the plan of salvation that you may be able to have that relationship with Christ and with others. Amen. Praise God. And if you have not received the spirit of God, we encourage you to receive the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, some may call. Amen. Glory be to God. But that he may lead you and guide you into all truth and that you may be a witness. As according to Acts 1 and 8 and Acts 2 and 38 and Acts the 19th chapter verse 2 through 6. Amen. God wants you to receive the spirit of God. He wants you to receive his spirit. Because he said, if you don't have his spirit, you are not, you are none of his. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we just thank God for those who have come into the kingdom one today. We celebrate with you. You did it on Father's Day. And this is the best decision that you can ever make in your yes, life. Yes, Lord. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. And remember the scripture in John 1, 1 John 4 and 4. Greater is he that is in you than he is in the world. Go and show your father, your father God, that you are now ready to make a difference. To let your light so shine that men and women may see your good works Lord. and glorify the Father, which is in the heaven. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. We make an appeal to the backsliders that if you left God, Amen. Glory be to God. God wants you to know that he is here to restore you back unto the fold. And all you got to do is just extend your hand. Extend your heart out to him on today. And he will forgive you of your sins. He celebrate with you. We thank God for you. In the hands of our pastor. Amen. Amen. We praise and worship <coughs> God. Thank you for your time. Amen. I'm not going to hold any longer than that. But I just want to encourage you to go out and get vaccinated. Go, that's right. I said it. I said go and get vaccinated. If you have not gone and got <laughs> vaccinated, please go and get vaccinated. Because if we plan to get back to some type of normalcy in in society, amen. In some in society, then we must be vaccinated. We must be uh, have some kind of uh, help to help us to stay away from COVID-19 or to not cause us to what? Head to the graveyard. Come on. So tell your loved ones, tell your friend. Amen. Amen. People have many reasons why they're not being vaccinated. Amen. I want to share one reason that you should be vaccinated. Amen. Because you don't want to end up in the emergency room. Mm -hmm. You don't want to end up in the hospital. You want you don't want to end up on the ventilators. And if you have not been vaccinated, please, ma'am, please, sir, please, boy, please, girl. Amen. From the ages of 12 on up, please go and get vaccinated that you can uh, pr proceed now being normal. You see people now in the stores, amen, not wearing masks, not practicing social distance. You see that's going on now. Vaccination will help you. It would help each and every one of us if we get vaccinated. So I'm asking you and encouraging you, amen, if you've been vaccinated, if you've been vaccinated, if you've been vaccinated, type on the screen, I've been vaccinated. Come on, come on. Let, let's tell the world I've been vaccinated. I saw that. I saw on Facebook today. I saw on Facebook today where they, they had a little thing showing people getting vaccinated. 
I want you to tell the world right here on 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 our platform, on our platform. Tell the world, tell the world. I've been vaccinated. Type in the chat. I've been vaccinated. I've been vaccinated. I've been vaccinated. Because guess what? When we get back together, when we get back to normalcy, when we get back to some type of normalcy, we want to know that you have been vaccinated. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Have you been vaccinated? Come on now. Come on. If you have not been vaccinated, please go and get vaccinated. I'm not going to I'm not going to ask you to tell me that you have been vaccinated. No, no. I wanted to challenge you to go and get vaccinated. You heard it from pastor person, first lady person, hope person. We have been vaccinated. Glory be to God. And I encourage you to go and get vaccinated today. You can do walk-ins now to get vaccinated. Yeah. You can go to your local pharmacies mm-hmm. and get vaccinated. Amen. It, the, the vaccination is there for you. The president has made it uh, convenient for you. Yes. Come on, let's take advantage of opportunity. Now, now let me let me let me say this. Let me say this. Now we was we we when we, when COVID nineteen showed up, we was praying, Lord, help us, Lord. Give us a cure, Lord. Bring some kind of uh, help to our situation. We was praying. We was praying. We praying. And, and, and we say we told Lord to guide the doctor's hand and all that stuff. Now that now that we have the vaccine, one now that we have the the, the cure, now that we have uh, some type of normalcy. Now we saying, oh, I don't want to take it now. It made it too fast. <laughs> Come on, somebody. But how can we say they made it too fast? How can we say they made it too fast? And when we was praying for deliverance, because guess what? Folks like us was dying. Come on, somebody. And when everybody started dying, when we opened up to 600,000 people dying from COVID-19, come on, somebody. Go and get vaccinated. Go. Go now. Go now. Go now. Amen. Go now Please. and get vaccinated. Go Amen. now and get vaccinated. Go now. That's right, Sister Smith. Ah, oh, my God. Look at him. Go now and get vaccinated. Encourage your children to go and get vaccinated. Because we don't want your children to come Amen. And have not been vaccinated. Something happened. And then they end up in the hospital. Come on, somebody. We don't want nobody going to the hospital because of COVID-19 now. Go and get vaccinated. Come on. Go and get vaccinated. Praise the Lord. Thank you. I bless you. Amen. I, I just want to get on my, 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 my soap pop. I want to get on my soap pop day. <laughs> I want to encourage you to go and get vaccinated. Amen. That we may be able to uh, get back to some type of normalcy. We now we now know that in the state of Maryland, we have uh, up to about 70 percent or more now that has been vaccinated. Amen. We're working towards getting back to normalcy. Amen. Some type of normalcy, not normal. It won't be normal as usual. Amen. Amen. I went to a um, I went to uh, a funeral on yesterday. Amen. Amen. A funeral on yesterday. And I'm praying for the Morris family today. I'm praying for the Morris family today. I'm praying for the Morris family today. I'm praying for them today that God would encourage their heart. The Kelsey Temple Church of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. The Temple Church. Amen. We praying for them that God will touch their heart and comfort them in the loss of their leader. Hallelujah. So I want you to pray. Amen. I want you to pray for them. I want you to pray for them. I want you to pray for them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will continue to bless us and strengthen us until we meet again. May God go with you and bless you. Amen. Don't forget to be a supporter of the ministry. Ways of giving is on the screen today. Amen. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Hallelujah. I certainly want to recognize two uh, great men in my life. Amen. Amen. The the very own, amen, Superintendent Alfred G. Adams and the Robert T. Grays. Amen. 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 Those are my fathers. Amen. Hallelujah. Time. Hallelujah. Those are my <laughs> fathers. And I want to recognize them today. 
Amen. Superintendent Alfred G. Adams. Amen. And then also the very fine, fine, fine amen that helped me, that groomed me, to work with me, that made me the, the man that I am today, yes. the Robert T. Graves. Amen. Amen. I thank God. Amen. I certainly took time out to uh, share my uh, Father's Day time with them on on Friday and Saturday. Amen. Amen. And I praise God for them. And I hope that God will continue to bless them and continue to strengthen them and continue to give them what they stand in need of. Come on, this person. Share your Father's Day. A Amen. Yes, I like to give a special shout out to my, my father, the late Bishop James Young. Amen. And memorial to him. And also to give salute to my spiritual father. I adopted him personally. The one and only Bishop Elijah Hankinson, Sr., amen, the third. And we thank God for him on today. Bishop Elijah, like Lady Rachel Hankinson says, Hosea Hankinson, the third. Amen. And we are yet praying and lifting up Lady Rachel Hankinson, believing God that his will will be done. It will be done in her and that she will be a testimony that God is yet a miracle working God today. Amen. And we just thank God for our Lord Jesus Christ on today. Thank you, Pastor. Well, let me make it to uh, me. To, oh, and to my Godfather. Amen. The one and only Timothy P. Hogan. We salute my Godfather on today. Love all of you, fathers. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Well, since we're on the soap pop of the fathers right now, amen. Why don't you type in the chat yes. your Father's Day? Amen. Whether deceased or living. Yes. Amen. Type it in the chat right now. Type your father. Amen. amen. You want to recognize. Type that person in the chat that you want to recognize today. Type them right now. Oh, my God. Yes. My God. Amen. My God. My Praise God. The They're coming in. They're yes. coming in. I just want to take a few minutes to recognize the fathers. Amen. Yes. Amen. Brother Fred McCullen. Amen. Yes. I want to recognize him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to recognize the father, Larry Person. Amen. Yes. I want to recognize yes. the father. Glory be to God. Yes. Glory be to God. Amen. Oh, my God. Look what God is doing and how God is blessing us. Amen. We take time to recognize the fathers. Come on, recognize your father. Yes. Recognize a uh, father is, is inspired in your life. Recognize those people that have made an impact on your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The apostle. Amen. James E. Young. Amen. <laughs> the late. Amen. Yes. Amen. Come on, recognize the fathers in your life. Glory be to God. Take time out. Amen. We want to recognize Thomas Rice. Amen. Yes. In Houston, Texas. Yes. We want to recognize the fathers in your life. Yes. Amen. Amen. They might not be your natural father, but they can be your spiritual father. They can be the father that, that was in your life that helped you, that raised you, that That's worked right. with you, That's that right. kept you, that That's encouraged right. you, That's that right. motivates you. That's Glory right. be to God. Yes. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Thank God for CRC. He's in heaven. And will glory Amen. be to God. How he raised you, Sister Smith. Yeah. How he kept you. Huh? How he encouraged yeah. you. Yeah. How he motivated you to do the thing that you're doing today. Yeah. Glory yeah. be to God. Ooh. Come on, come on. Yeah. I got about another two more minutes. I got to get off this broadcast. But give me another two more minutes. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Somebody type some more names in the tech because we yeah. want to recognize the Father even after we go off this broadcast. Yes, Lord. Yes, type Lord. your Father's name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Type them in the chat Amen. that we may be able to recognize them Amen. and pay homage to them Amen. and pay respect to them. Yes. For they have raised you. They have kept you. Yes. They have encouraged you. Amen. Now, as we continue, to do the blessed will of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. We thank God for all that he has done yes, Lord. and how he has blessed us. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody might say they don't have a father to recognize. Mm -hmm. You got your heavenly father, That's which right. is in heaven. That's right. you, got the, you got the man called God himself. He's your father. And he sent his son to be your, to be your friend. 
to encourage you to come and be pointed directly to him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Dennis Young, the late Dennis Young. Glory be to God. Oh, my God, yeah. my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. oh look at God. You, look at God. Yeah. Hallelujah. We recognize yeah. all the fathers. Oh, the help move, have yeah. groomed us, yeah. help mold us, help make us. Glory be to God to the men and the women that we are today. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, it took a father, it took a man, it took somebody yeah. to help groom you. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I'm 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 gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there yeah. because amen. amen. But I praise God. God, our Father, we leave this place without your presence. We pray that thou go with us, bless us, and keep us until we meet again. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you until we meet again. Amen. Tuesday, we having our incredible Tuesday noonday prayer with myself and other prayer warriors on the line. Amen. Praise God. You can catch us on Facebook. Amen. At the noonday hour. Praise the Lord. And for our Sunday school, 9 30 a.m. on Zoom. And we come on live on Facebook for next Sunday. God bless all of you. We love you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you.